This is the entire history of Big Scary. But before we start, please consider subscribing. It helps out a ton. It all started 10 months ago in a land far, far... Uh, oh, oh, wait. My bad. 10 months ago, a game developer who goes by the name of Shrek was learning how to make Unity games. Gorilla Tag was always a favorite, and there were many Gorilla Tag fan games slowly coming out. Wondering if he could make his own, he started a game that would eventually gain 1 million players. This right here is the first successful multiplayer test. Shrek and his brother were playing around and seeing how they could make the game. They didn't really have a name for it at the time, but it would be known soon as Big Scary. With the test name as It's Time, it was clearly just the beginning. The models were very similar to what they are today too, but there was no computer or any cosmetics to use. One month later, after hard work and making the first ever Big Scary levels, the game was now on App Lab. Cosmetics were still not a thing, but there was a computer to change your name and you could go to codes. There were also two setting buttons, one for a glow mode, making it look more lit up, and one for FPS, which is still in the game now. The mirror was added at this point, and the little cage that Shrek is in, down the yellow slide, was in the game during this version. It's cool to see how he brought this back. To us, it's something new, but Shrek most likely just used the exact same thing. Level 1 was the place to play. Exit the green safe zone, and you are now in Big Scary. The level is still the same at this time, and you could progress all the way to level 5, then level 6. This level is very similar to level 2, but it was scrapped in the end for some reason. This level also seems like the tower level idea I gave. I still think this would be a really cool idea to have a tower with buttons or keys to escape. That'd be pretty cool. The next update was a big one. Cosmetics were finally added. Shrek added one of the biggest parts of his game. You could choose from four hats, and Shrek had his yellow custom hat added here too. But anyone could wear it, so it wasn't really just for him yet. Bruh. Somewhere around this time, Shrek added the back rooms. Level 3 was a scary place with yellow walls and a creepy monster running around. Big scary as the back rooms above you in the main area today. But it doesn't seem as scary as the level 3 back during this update. The fire battleground was added here too, which is also in the game today. So my guess is somewhere along the way, he decided to scrap the idea, but brought it back just a few weeks ago. I really like it, but it doesn't feel like Big Scary, especially because it's a horror game. But either way, it's still very fun. Two months later, the custom cosmetics for mods were working. As you can see, this monker has the TV hat. There was also this little funny spot where the monkey ragdolls were placed. Seems like Shrek really liked the ragdoll monkeys for some reason. The Big Scary music was also added, and the first vending machine was added. I'm pretty sure Shrek is going to add more vending machines in the future, one that costs 5 banana bucks and one that costs 10. The more hats, the more cool cosmetics to choose from, so why not? There was also a little container to hold people when they were banned, so you could just sit there and watch them. I actually think it's a really funny idea. The Big Scary ah! sign was also added. I like the little detail he does with those when the sign says new cosmetics or something like that. The next update added the moderator area. The moderator area was added so you could see all the mods and playtesters. Also, you can't get mod playtester or anything of the sort, so don't even try to ask. The ban area was changed to have bars so you would feel like you were in prison. TV was added so people could watch the monsters, which was still here today. Also, mods could go through the bars, which is really funny. So if you were banned, a mod could jump in right next to you, and the banned people could just watch the TV, which is really funny too. After more work, and only 5 months ago, the Halloween update was added. Big Scary was growing very fast at this time too, gaining a big community. Level 8 was added just the update before, and then level 9 was added. Level 9 was a big map with many monsters and paths to take. I started playing during the level 8 update, and level 9 was the first update I got to see for myself. During all of the next few updates, packs were added that you could buy to get special cosmetics and pets. The back rooms were added, which was the first level or game outside the main nine levels. I really want to see more paths with unique ideas and games. That's why I'm so excited for the voxel horror mode, and I'm pretty sure the community is really excited for it too. Level 10 was added next, and this level is inspired by Crossbase, which is a game I've played that is very scary. You should go watch that video. Level 11 with the old lady and the baby were added. The hospital had six codes around the map that you could find. Being this would allow you to get the frog pet, the first unlockable pet. Level 12 is the snowy yeti level with presents to find. You could unlock the Christmas hat, and during the update, there's a Christmas tree with a special hat inside. I think the secret hats in the levels add a lot more, and it makes you want to go explore more. The next update was level 13. YouTube and Big Scary were getting along really well at this time too. 
before level 13 is added, there's so many videos on how to get to the level early, which is really funny to see. Level 14 is where we are today, with the update adding level 14, a dark place with codes to find. Finding all eight would allow you to move on, but there is nothing except for a blank wall. Anyways, this update also added the flamethrower area, which was in the game much earlier like I mentioned before. And the little cage with Shrek was added. The creator hat, or YouTube hat, was also added in this update. I love this hat so much. I was given the access to use the Hasbula path too. The newest and final update to date is the Valentine's update, adding pink glow. Also, the new bundle of Valentine's things were added. There was also a free heart badge, which is the first ever badge to be added to the game. And that's where we are today, waiting for new awesome big scary updates to come. 1,500 words later, I can't wait to see where the game goes, and I'm so excited to see all of the levels there will be. Thank you so much for watching, please consider subscribing, it helps out so much. Anyways, bye muckers.